Hey everyone, so since my martial arts journey has been documented now for more than two years, it doesn't surprise me that people are sometimes confused about which period I'm at now, whether I'm still trying to save Aikido, whether I'm still practicing Aikido, or where am I to begin with, uh, because not everyone obviously watches all the videos. And so to make things clear, I decided to film this video talking in detail on what's my relationship with Aikido today, what do I think about Aikido as a practice, am I ever going to practice it again, and all these main questions which come up about Aikido in my comment section. So to begin with, uh, for those who do not know, I am not practicing Aikido whatsoever anymore. So I closed my full-time Aikido dojo about seven months ago. I moved to Portland, at least temporarily, uh, Portland, Oregon, United States, uh, to train at a famous mixed martial arts Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gym called Straight Last Gym. And I enrolled into a intensive six months uh, MMA training program at which at the end of it, you have your MMA fight. So this is what I'm mainly focusing on right now, and I'm doing some YouTube stuff on the side, but no Aikido. And although I'm releasing some Aikido-related videos sometimes, like for example, I bumped into Nathaniel Chalkin the other day in Santa Barbara, since he's a longtime practitioner of both Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Aikido, uh, it just was, of course, fascinating for me to jump in and look into, okay, so how did he make Aikido work in his grappling game? But that's just because, of course, I'm interested to see how it looks, but that's by no means my full focus or something that I'm really interested in these days. I'm much more interested to practice a functional martial art as it is rather than trying to make up something new. That being said, uh, yes, I did try to make my Aikido work for about a year. That the whole thing is, is documented on my channel but I'm not trying to do that anymore. My official statement is if some wrist lock or some technique will pop up in a jiu-jitsu match or even an MMA match, I might go for it, but by no means that's my primary intention. I feel that these martial arts, specifically Brazilian jiu-jitsu and mixed martial arts, basically boxing, grappling, uh, wrestling, they are already so effective and I don't need to try to add anything new and I'm not even the best person to do that. I'm still a beginner at mixed martial arts, at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. If Aikido would be a game changer, I'm sure someone would already have added it to their regime and it would be blowing up the world. And, and yeah, there's some wrist locks in Jiu-Jitsu which can be somewhat of a game changer, at least on some level but they're universal. They don't belong necessarily to specifically Aikido. Only a few of them I've seen online are specifically Aikido related. There's a lot of wrist locks which are not practiced in Aikido. So it wouldn't be fair to say that this is Aikido in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's just kind of a wordplay. But yeah, again, I'm not the best person to, to save Aikido, to try to make it work. And honestly, I'm not interested anymore. I did go down that path, I did try it, but my conclusion was that, again, as I said, the functional practices are good as they are. For me these days, it just my mind cannot wrap itself around, like, why would you, if you're, if you're practicing Aikido for its martial, for wanting martial effectiveness, being able to use it for a self-defense situation, my mind just can't wrap around the idea of why would you choose Aikido instead of a functional martial art, which already exists, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, mixed, mixed martial arts, boxing. Yes, they are so much sport related. I mean, there's the sport aspects in it. And you, if you want it for pure self-defense, you might need to adapt it somewhat on some level, but those changes are minor. While in Aikido, uh, for me, a martial art these days is defined by its training methodology, whether it's effective or not. The most of the Aikido that I see is not it's not very, it, the training is not functional. It's cooperative. It's, it's, it's uh, very, very much prearranged. There's no live resisting opponent who really tries to either choke you out, submit you, or either tries to hurt you by punching you in the head. Those elements do not exist. And if you're not used to that in training, which you can get used to through, through the functional martial arts, if you're not used to those elements, Trust me, I know from my personal experience, they can be a shocker when you get attacked in the street. You just don't know what to do. There's that gap is, it needs to be bridged. So again, if someone would ask me, so why would you practice Aikido instead of other martial arts? The only answers I could come up with, maybe it's your meditation practice. Although still, I mean, you could do yoga as your meditation practice. Well, this is partner-based. I mean, there's some more motion. But still, uh, I could I could say, okay, you know, this is your meditation practice, sure, do it. But you have to be clear about that. If you really want martial effectiveness, there's no good reason to train specifically Aikido unless you transform the training methodology of Aikido entirely on uh, some 
huge level but then is that still aikido can you still still really call it aikido probably it will look more like judo or brazilian jiu-jitsu again the only other reason i can see for people practicing aikido still if they are searching for martial effectiveness and they are not letting go of aikido that's specifically it people have a hard time letting go and accepting that what they did for potentially decades as my as i had the same scenario uh it's difficult for people to accept that it's not the practice is not what they expected it to be and uh, it's it's a tough kind of mental challenge to go through that process and you want to save it you want to try to prove that it still works although deep inside you know it's not it's just not what it is anymore especially after you've been tapped out by a bjj blue belt or you've been punched by a boxer or taken down by a wrestler uh, and your aikido skills help you did not help you whatsoever those cases are recorded online on numerous occasions and unless again you're training in a very different methodology than 90 percent of aikido that i have witnessed personally that i see online that i have trained Mm, you can expect a different outcome and uh, and so yeah that mental that mental capacity to accept that what you did for decades is false is not what you expected it's not easy and i think that's one of the major reasons honestly i mean i can't say anything else that's one of the main reasons why a lot of aikido people are still practicing aikido trying to make it work uh, and trying to prove that it works instead of letting go and moving on to a more functional practice because it's not easy again to be a student and to admit you made a mistake honestly i think a lot of people are stuck in that practice because of that reason and i know already a lot of aikido people who tried to save aikido it didn't work and eventually they still accepted it and moved on to a new practice and eventually were happier because of that especially after a few years when they generated some capacity some some abilities in that realm as well in the beginning obviously it won't be easy but as Nath Thornton the founder of Street Blast Gym suggested to me uh, some time ago which was a major decision maker for me he said stop as early as you can stop earlier than later you know life is short and if you will probably stop eventually better do it now although it's hard and that's what I did and I have to say I'm very happy about that now, one more debate that happens online about my Aikido is people saying that it's specifically my Aikido which does not work and not Aikido in general. And you know, after thinking a lot about it and being confronted with that subject numerous times, I realized oh, there may be some truth about that. I did not train the most hardcore Aikido style. I did not train some offshoot of Aikido which, which has boxing in it or something. And it seems like there are some styles like that. It's just they don't, they're not the majority, they're not mainstream. Ever since I had the online presence of questioning these, of questioning Aikido, I, I did bump into a number of people who actually told that Aikido did work for them in a street self-defense situation. And I believe them, uh, at least most of them. They seem to be legit stories. But oftentimes those stories, they are from bouncers, many peop meaning people who already have a huge load of real-life fighting experience of dealing with real life resisting opponents so yeah when you have the when you have that experience that's the missing link in aikido and that's where maybe some wrist lock will come in or sometimes it's just the right place at the right time and some technique technique was just applied against let's say an untrained opponent which is usually the case i can't say it's it's not real that it's you know that those cases do not exist but again uh, aikido the way it's trained mainly on most on the most places you will see it's all about the training methodology and the way aikido is trained is uh, it's oftentimes similar to what i had the experience i had and even if it's a little bit more hardcore than i the training i had it's most of it is still cooperative and not be, just because oh if i will not resist if i will resist you will break my wrist or something trust me that's that's not the case that's not the deal i mean i i could try to pull off wrist throws in my jiu-jitsu game all day long and if i do that doesn't break their wrist and they resist smartly and in mma just like unless it's next to a wall or something next to the cage again you, you won't catch that fist mid-air and that's not the reason why you don't do it in live practice it's not because you would destroy your partner you would injure your partner too badly it's just because it doesn't work uh, that's that's simply the truth and so yeah it, the aikido can sometimes i believe it does have a potential to sometimes work but it's still low percentage it's still not the most effective practice out there so besides having it as some meditation philosophical practice 
I do not see a good reason enough to train it rather than something else when you're looking for martial arts effectiveness. And even if my style was not the perfect one for it, I, I, I can guarantee to you, most Aikido styles are, they would have the same experience that I did. And you know, if you think I'm wrong and if you think that your style is very effective against the, an experienced fighter, there's always, you know, the camera is there, we all have mobile phones, but then these people suddenly they, they come up and say, oh, actually, I don't like to be in front of the camera. And, and suddenly all those people who are able to pull off their Aikido against an experienced fighter, they are camera shy. You know, it's kind of a strange coincidence. But if, you, if you're able to do that uh, and you will film it, I will celebrate it. I will be happy about it. But I also almost guarantee to you that your training methodology will probably be very much off mainstream. It'll be very different than, than the regular Aikido that is trained. And then again, it's the question is whether that's still Aikido is, it's a tough one. So the last main question I think is important to, to touch in this video is if I'm ever going to go back to Aikido. And now I have to be honest, the way I am, it's not that I hate Aikido or I think it's the worst practice in the world and it has zero place in the world. That's not it. But at the same time, I've spent so much time in it as such a devoted student. And I, I received not that much from it. I mean, I did receive some some mindset, attitude, maybe maybe type of benefits. But aside that, I did not get as much as I think I would have gotten if I practiced a more functional practice for the same amount of years. Also, there were and still are some major disagreements between me and my Aikido instructors who I think they are... They are potentially having a negative influence on some degree to some of their students, which I feel they had over me. And and so all of that, looking at that, I just can't see myself so much in, in, in the Aikido you know, dress up and, and trying to pretend that I still believe in Aikido or, or trying to spread it. Again, it's not because I feel it's entirely not worth it, but it's just, I don't feel feel myself being able to do that anymore. It's just too foreign, too distant, and I'm much more enthusiastic about being a student and developing a new skill entirely than coming back to Aikido. Even after I become efficient at these martial arts, at functional martial arts, I, my mindset may change, but I don't necessarily feel a drive to go back and to try to save Aikido or to do something to it. I think these functional practices are good as they are by themselves, and, and I'm happy to stick with them and not deviate from them anymore. A quick one more thing which people are enthusiastic often have to ask me is as I'm training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA, if Aikido, if I see Aikido coming in sometimes, like helping me train. And the main things, the main uh, aspects that I could say that are legit, that help me is first of all, is the ability to perceive uh, the motion that is shown to me and to replicate it. I feel like Aikido definitely helped me do that. Aikido has so many complex motions, so many complex movements that I had to see, perceive, and, and embody and replicate. And that ability, I feel, definitely helps. In, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, in MMA, my coaches show something and I feel, I feel I'm quicker than my peers of the same level of training at the ability to pick that thing up to, to understand how it works and to apply it. I feel like it'll definitely help me with that. Some footwork maybe, but not on a dramatic level, but, but maybe the sense of distance between me and the sparring partners, uh, the sense of hips, but also maybe yoga helped me with that since I, since I did yoga for years as well. But Aikido could be that as well. We had some hip throws, we had some rolling. So I have a better feeling of um, my hips, which is very important in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or even in, sometimes in striking. So those aspects, kind of the general feeling of the body, body consciousness, body awareness, space for, spatial awareness, I feel, and the ability to pick up movements, I feel Aikido does give me an advantage here. So basically making me a somewhat of a better student since I'm able to let go and not try to make it Aikido, but just learn as a sponge, as, as an empty cup. Having that mindset, my previous learning skills, I feel definitely come in handy. But aside that, skill-wise, I don't really feel like all the techniques I learned come in pretty much anywhere. Maybe that'll happen later, but now that's the case. 
So I hope this video uh, brings more clarity to you understanding how I feel about Aikido uh, today and what's my relationship with it. I finished that chapter, I let go of it, and I'm opening up a new chapter and completely devoting myself to it. That's kind of the summary of it. Still, if you have any questions or if I did not answer something related to the subject, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And the biggest news to let you know on April 6, which is uh, almost a month, almost just a month later, in Montana, the town of Kalispell, I will have my first amateur fight. Uh, so if you want to see me fight and you're somewhere in the area, come by. Definitely don't hesitate to, to, to say hi to me. Maybe not the, just before the fight because I'll be all focused, but after the fight, for sure, don't hesitate to come up to me, say hi. I'll be more than happy to, to get to know you and yeah, excited to have you there. So that'll be there. I'll give more information as I know something about it. But right now I'll stop and I will see you on the virtual mat again soon.